It's uh, this this is a fitting end to a very interesting week for me. It started when I left uh, two Fridays ago, left my home, flying out to Minneapolis to uh, participate in sort of the alternative convention, uh, breaking with convention, as Amy Goodman likes to say, with the Republican National Convention. It started by watching um, the TV and seeing John McCain, the Republican nominee for the President of the United States, introduced to America his vice presidential candidate, Sarah Palin. Now, I'm not here to talk politics. I'm not here to be critical of, uh, of his choice. That's a choice the American people get to make. But I do want to talk about one aspect of her presentation. You see, as somebody who includes in his resume 12 years service in the United States Marine Corps as a commissioned officer, I take very seriously discussions of war and nations going to war. And I listened intently as Sarah Palin talked about her children, her family, and the fact that her eldest son had enlisted in the United States Army and was getting ready to deploy to Iraq. Now this is a very solemn statement she was making. This is a mother who has brought into life a son. And now this son whom she nurtured has volunteered to serve his nation and is going to war. This is deservant of respect. This is deservant of our admiration. And how did the crowd respond? With chants of USA, 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 as if she had just said, my son is the starting quarterback in the homecoming game. No, your son's going to war. There's a likelihood that your son is going to experience some sort of tragedy that is the byproduct of war. He may be killed. He may be maimed. He may have his brain shocked by what he sees that when he returns, even if his body is physically intact, he will be forever mentally different from the son you sent to war. This is not something to cheer, ladies and gentlemen, when a president or a vice president or any member of government states that our nation is going to war, we are dispatching our sons and daughters to fight in our name. This is not a time and place for a nation to celebrate. It is the time and place for a nation to mourn. Even if, even if that conflict is deemed to be a conflict worthy. 